Good afternoon. I'm Bob Masalgo at In Your Ear Studios for WNRN. We've got an in-studio session today with 49 Winchester, and we've got a full house, a full house of WNRN members. Welcome, everyone. So great to have you all here. I know we're in for a, for a great amount of entertainment. 49 Winchester is a demonstration of how big the state of Virginia is. It's Commonwealth music, but, you know, Castlewood, Virginia is over 330 miles from Richmond. This is by far the farthest away we've gone and pulled in a Commonwealth band. We're so glad to have them here today. They've got a new album out called Fortune Favors the Bold. It's available on New West Records. The next time they're going to be back in our area will be August 5th, and they've got a big show along with Dwight Yoakam and the Mavericks at the Ting Pavilion in Charlottesville. Again, that's August 5th. Isaac, welcome to you and the band. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. We're so glad to have you here today. And, you know, I grew up about 50 miles from Castlewood, so I, I know what it's like down in southwest Virginia. I know that it's very hard for bands to find places to play. What did you guys have to do to, to kind of establish yourselves coming up? Sure. Uh, it, it is it is a place that's not, you know, there's there's not exactly a thriving music scene. It's not a metropolis that I grew up in. It's, it, it took a lot of traveling, a lot of boots on the ground, a lot of years of getting out and touring and just kind of trying to stretch our fan base out as, as far as possible. When did you guys first start playing together? Right, right when we finished high school, 2013. Uh, that fall, we started playing some music together and decided we liked the way it felt. And we were just childhood friends, all of us. And it's been kind of, that's... You know, that's the way it went, man. It started at very humble beginnings, super small, uh, you know, very humble. It was, uh, we didn't know where to go. We didn't know what, what to play. We didn't know anything. We knew absolutely nothing. And it's all just kind of grown from the ground up. It certainly has taken off. Would you like to play a song for us? Sure, man. This tune's called Damn Darling. <laughs> Feel you broke in my heart. 
my heart. Thank you very much. Forty nine Winchester in studio at Richmond's In Your Ear Studios. Thanks so much for that song. That's on the new album, right? Yes, sir. It is. Yep. Uh, new album is called Fortune Favors the Bold. It's available on New West Records. I imagine Floyd Fest was a big turning point for you guys. It was. It was a huge thing. It really felt like kind of a coming of age thing for us. It was kind of the first time that we it was right in that period when we were going through a lot of growth and it was the first really big, huge festival crowd we ever had. We really we really felt accomplished with our, our first Floyd Fest. We won the Artist on Their Eyes contest that year. Came back the next year, and it was even better. Uh, Floyd Fest always treats us great. We love that place. You've been putting a lot of miles on the van, and I hear on a new bus coming yeah, along. Come summer. <laughs> um, so you're traveling all over the place. Do you have any favorites where you've played around the country or around the world? Sure. I mean, some of the, some of the venues, the, the obvious ones that stick out in my head are things like the Grand Ole Opry and the Ryman. But uh, there's some festivals that we really love. We love Bristol Rhythm and Roots, which is kind of back home for us. Uh, we love doing Floyd Fest. Uh, we always love coming to Richmond. Richmond's always always treated us well. That was one of the first places, uh, even though it's in our home state, like you said, it's a long way off. That was one of the first kind of out-of-town spots that we really felt like we had a, a following starting to develop. So Richmond's always been great, man. When did you start writing songs? Started writing songs really when we started the band. Uh, the first songs that I ever wrote were the first 49 Winchester songs. Uh, I'd written all my life uh, poetry and prose and things like that. My mother's a writer. She's also a great singer. Uh, but it, yeah, it started out as, as writing poems and just putting words down, and they turned into songs as we started sharing ideas and, and playing instruments together. Would you be willing to share another one with us? Sure, let's do it. A song called "It's a Shame." I 
try Tell you on it, it's a shame It's a shame and I'm so rich when I ain't got no money It's a shame I ain't had no fun well, It's a shame I ain't sitting up on some bar stool It's a shame that I'm going to hell well, It's a shame I've been drinking or it's a shame I've been thinking that I'm Forty nine Winchester in studio on WNRN, and they are going to be playing August fifth in Charlottesville at Ting Pavilion. When they're there with Dwight Yoakam and the Mavericks, uh, doing several dates with uh, Dwight Yoakam and the Mavericks, I think, as you go across the country. We will be. Uh, would you mind introducing everybody else in the band? Isaac? Sure. Back there on the bass guitar, that's my childhood best friend, known in my whole life. That's Mr. Chase Chafin, one of the OG three, one of the founders of this thing. The other one over there, Mr. Bus Shelton on the lead guitar. Back there on the keys, we've got Mr. Tim Hall. On the pedal steel guitar, we've got Noah Patrick. And on the drums, we've got Mr. Justin Lallian. Now, is there anybody left in Castlewood when you guys go out on the road? That's well, right. if they follow us, which they're, ten, they're, they're prone to doing, uh, I guess the, the population of the town cuts by about a third, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> When did it finally hit you that this was something that you could do as a career? Um, a few years ago, man, we just we, we knew that there was no way we were going to stop. So we knew that the only thing we could do is continue to work harder and try to make it work. Uh, it, it felt too good, and it, it fulfills us too much to, to ever consider stopping. So, you know, for years we worked day jobs. We did everything we could, touring on the weekends, just working long hours and, and still making it, making it happen. And, uh, a few years back, we, we decided to all just kind of take a leap of faith in each other and, and quit our jobs, do this thing full time. Uh, and pretty much since that day, it's, it's really started blossoming. So it's, it's been a blessing. It's, it must be very satisfying. It is, man. So you're make, taking another big jump here. You're going on tour, a European tour with Luke Combs. Yep. Be in October. Most of the, all, pretty much all the month of October, we'll be in, in Europe with Luke. We're doing 13 countries. 15 shows it'll be it'll be a great run really looking forward to it everybody got their passports up to date oh yeah yeah, yeah good for sure <laughs> had to get them for for the last uh for, we played our first england shows in march uh, but none of us had ever left the country except chase until the end but. did you find <laughs> would you find anything different about the audiences uh yes to a degree they're 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 more attentive there's less uh even the rowdy late night we threw we've had like a 1 a.m set in a bar on top of the o2 arena uh, and it was just shoulder to shoulder packed out and they were all you know drinking and rowdy and they still, when the songs are being played, they're glued to you. It's, it's crazy. They're so attentive. They, they, I think that they, they just value the fact that their favorite American country bands are not there often. Yeah. And it's, it's, a different, it's a little bit different vibe, but they're great, great crowds, for sure. We all have time to hear one more if you have time to play one more. Sure. Let's do it. This song's called The Hillbilly Daydream.
to sell a jar of corn liquor when a bushel of taters won't sell. And that's a good thing, cause my crop went to pieces when I spent the last dead months locked in jail. But I didn't see the hint nor that I never done nobody no harm. Little man gotta do what a man gotta do. I never think cause a leg in the arm. I mix my corn into water when it gets a little hotter. If the law tries to catch me, I'll run Flying down the road with a pick-up bed full of alcohol Flying down the road with a pick-up bed full of alcohol Forty nine Winchester in studio at Richmond on WNRN. Their new album, Fortune Favors the Bold, is available now on New West Records. And we'll look forward to seeing them again in the center part of the Commonwealth. I can't say the Commonwealth, I'll say why in a minute, but we'll look forward to seeing them in the center part of the state August fifth, when they play with Dwight Yoakam and the Mavericks at Ting Pavilion in Charlotte. Well, that's because they are playing in the Commonwealth before that. You've got the Virginia, Kentucky fair coming up, although right. it's actually farther away than Castlewood. I it think. is. It's even farther. <laughs> yeah. So if you got a drive in mind, through about 350 miles will get you down to Wise. Sure. Fly. That's my <laughs> recommendation. <laughs> Isaac, we sure appreciate having you in thanks today. Thanks for having us. We appreciate thanks. it. Thanks to 49 Winchester. A big thanks to Carlos and the rest of the crew here at In Your Ear Studios, the WNRN staff, and of course, our WNRN members. Please give yourself a round of applause. For WNRN, I'm Bob Masago. Thanks for listening.